Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, new subscribers, welcome. Uh, as you can probably see, there's not much changed on this. I haven't really touched it because I have been a bit busy. Let me just show you what I've been doing. There's a clue. There's a bigger clue. So anyway, back to it. So in this video we're going to be removing all the wiring, removing the wiring loom so everything is disconnected from the engine and everything's out of the way. So uh, as usual, let's get on with it. Okay, so before we start removing the wire on this, I'm just going to take away this grab rail and then what's left of the rear bumper section. Just remove all that first. And for this grab rail, you will need a 10mm and a 12mm. And we'll remove the little seat lock mechanism, just one 10 mil bolt, one 10 mil very long bolt. Let me get that out there, here, yeah. put the bolt back in, just in case I need to use it for the new seat. Uh, the new seat, it is going to be like a calf racer type bike I suppose. But, well, I haven't really got a name, I call it a street fighter, but I don't think it's really going to be a street fighter. I don't know, it might be a street fighter calf racer type thing. So I'm hopefully going to, this support rail goes up to here, hopefully going to cut all this, chop all this back end off. Just have a ump seat, just one uh, one seater, not a dual seat, just a single seat. So all these will have to be chopped off as well. So I'll chop these off and chop the frame off about there, hopefully. But uh, first we've got to get the engine sorted, haven't we? But meanwhile, while I'm saving up for that, we can uh, get this engine out and play with it. But that will be in another video, not this one. So anyway, got some wiring here. These are for the back lights, rear lights. Just a simple connector. Don't plug it somewhere safe in case we need them in the future. Uh, there's only one indicator left on the bike so I'd imagine that is the blue and the green. So we can leave that there and now we can undo these look like 10 mils under those 10 millimeter bolts 10 millimeter I can't say millimeter Save that one for Ron. Later on. Find my 10 mil spanner. Put it on the inside of that nut. Hopefully, dry again. It's a good 
job we're taking it apart and not putting it back together, isn't it? There's the first snap bolt. Another knot on the other side, yes. So let's do this side first. Anybody else uh, wonders why I'm not using WD-40? Because I haven't got £4 to buy it in. I'm spending it on other stuff. So if the company WD-40 are listening, send me an email. Send me lots of free WD-40. And I will say how good it is on YouTube for you. <laughs> this one's going to snap as well. Okay, if we're going to be snapping some bolts, let's get out the big guns. It might be alright with this one. There we go, no snappies. That's that bit gone. <coughs> Definitely gone now. Save these brackets as well, they might come in handy. Okay, next job. Let's get the rectifier out of the way. Is that a rectifier? I think it's called a rectifier. still. Most of the bolts are 10 mil on motorcycles normally, not Japanese motorcycles. So when we do rebuild we're going to have to relocate this obviously. A broken fin there look. Is it a broken fin or is it a broken fat? Is it a broken fat fin? Tab here, just move your tab out the way. And I noticed on Hondas, they have all these little frame bracket fittings for the plugs to go into. You know, on most bikes they're just all taped up, aren't they? And your plugs are just hanging out, but these are all on the Hondas, they seem to. Make nice brackets for them. That's that one. And that's that one. That's the uh, fuel pump. You can get them out there. Oh yes. It says another black wire, one connector. And then it goes off into a socket down here. Pump. 
like so. There we are. One rectifier. One rectified. What next? Well, being as we're here, shall we uh, try the fuel pump? See if we can't remove the fuel pump. To work out where it's fixed. Get this pipe through. Fuel pump. We are going to have to disconnect the pipe. Pull the clamp back. Usual thing, try and break the seal. There we go, we've got you. There we are, one fuel pump. One pumping. Uh, that must be the fuel pump relay or something like that. Be the flusher unit. We'll leave that attached to the wire loom, shall we? Get this fuel pipe out of the way. Uh, what next? I suppose we may as well get a good battery out and stuff, haven't we? Okay, so let's remove all the battery. We'll do the earth wire first. We'll do the live wire second. Lift the battery out, they are quite heavy and they are quite confined so they're a bit awkward to get out. Then we don't lose them. So let's see if we can't get the battery box out. So then it's held in somewhere else. So. Yeah, it's got all this gizmo attached to it, hasn't it? Uh, I think we need to go around the other side. Okay then, so let's remove all the uh, solenoid, shall we? Just remove it from its plug. down there for now. Could disconnect this uh, wire that goes into the engine somewhere. Disconnect the brake light switch which looks like it's been bodged up. It looks like there's a 8mm bolt there. out but I am struggling at the moment with all these wires. Should we try and do this 8mm bolt? Okay let's see if we can get this undone. That was nice and easy.
Very rusty, so see what we can do. Doesn't feel too good. It's, I think it's just got a plastic fixing like that one, and it's just turning round inside. It's just like a metal rivet, what's on the other side, so we'll have to try and break it off. switch you off while I try and get this out because it's a bit boring just watching me prat about. Okay then, we have a uh, separation. I didn't show you what I was doing but uh, I will show you what I used. I used this and this. Brute force and ignorance. Remove this ray ugger. Cool, we haven't even touched the wiring yet, have we? I said we had touched the wiring, but I suppose we have touched it a bit. So let's get this rear ugger off. Right, there's three bolts this side. One, two, three. All look like ten mils again. There's no nuts on the back and none of them snap. There's one. Same this side, three 10 mil bolts. Coming on pretty easy. Coming on pretty easy. Coming on done pretty easy. Okay, so hopefully that should just lift out now. No, don't think it's going to be as easy as it looks. out the way now. Hooray! Success! Okay, let's see if we can get this edit tank out the way. We can get this in there to get some this water. Okay, that should do. And all we've got to try and do is get this out. <laughs> now there is a pipe down here connected. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Dirty, rusty water all over my shed floor. See if I can't get the pipe off. Yay! Success! Well, it's a bit manky down there, don't it? Pretty rusty. Okay, what next? 
So now we can try to remove the CDI unit. I think it's just sort of clipped in there really, but there is a 10mm bolt there and a 10mm bolt there. Let's just see if we can't get it out of the bracketry, plastic bracketry. Oh yeah, it's just the clips. Yeah, it's just two plastic prongs. That's it. Two plastic prongs that go through the holes. They're there. Let's try and find the plugs. Where's the plugs? Getting on another plastic tab. Oh. That is the. I've no idea. Might be the flashy unit, I don't know. So, anyway, got to get this off. Let's get it off. little gizmo bracket lose use our jizz bit perfect fit put that screw back in there just in case I need it with my jizz bit This plug, wherever it's going to. There we go. I'll save all my brackets just in case. So this should now. This should now all come over to this side, shouldn't it? So we've just been chiselling on this little screw for 20 minutes and I've leaned on this and it just fell out. So what I'm thinking now is this is going to pull out, hopefully. you on my knee for a second.
filters at it, don't you? So, Dremel, do you think? Dremel and a flat impact driver or something. Oh, it's looking pretty manky. All these rubbers are knackered, solid as a rock. Uh, this engine, I'm not too worried about anything falling down there because I'm uh, taking it apart. Got a few metals on it. It's got one there, a U there, D there, T23 some up there, T238. Like somebody done some work on it, but somebody else has just run it into the ground. And even bothered to change the air filters. Yeah, the other sides fell off as well, look. So next. Okay, so let's disconnect the rest of this solenoid. See if we can get it undone. That's that solenoid off. Let's put the nut back on. today so let's put you back on the tripod and say goodbye Whew. right then guys that's all we've got for this one I'm afraid so well uh, it's time to wrap up hope you enjoyed it uh, see you again next week and thanks for all the comments last week I had about 50 odd comments last week which is brilliant, makes it all worthwhile when you get a comment. If you don't get any comments, it uh, does disheart dishearten you a bit. Is that the right word? Dishearten. <laughs> oh, dishearten, yes. It does dishearten you a bit if you don't get any comments. Like, uh, if you get comments, then it motivates you to get into your shed, if you know what I mean. So, please keep commenting, guys, and I'll... Uh, Oh yes, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, it's down there, uh, comment down there like I've just said, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want, and I'll see you next week.